So, let's find the equation of the parabola having a focus of 1, 0 and a directrix at y equals 3. 1, 0 is right here. And y equals 3, 1, 2, 3. Remember, the directrix is a line. So this is the focus. And this is the directrix. y equals 3. And so, just like we did before, the, the vertex then has to be right in the middle of it. And so the vertex, what's in between 0 and 3? 1 and a half. So it'll be 1, comma, 1 1.5. 0 plus 3 divided by 2. All right, so the next thing you have to determine opens down. Opens down, it's going to have a negative p, and that p is going to equal negative 1.5, because it's 1.5 to the directrix and 1.5 to the focus. And so we have a vertex equation. We're going to use the y minus k equals a times x minus h squared. Remember that a is equal to 1 over 4p. All right. So y minus 1.5, our k value, vertex, equals a times, and actually let's figure out what a is. A is equal to 1 over 4 times negative 1.5. Negative 1.5 times 4. If you multiply by 2, you get 3. Well, double that again, you get 6. So, negative 1 sixth. And so I'm going to put that in there. Negative 1 sixth. X minus our H which is the x-coordinate of our vertex, 1 squared. And that is the equation of our parabola. It's nice because you can tell which direction it opens, down, and the x is squared, and so the vertex is 1, positive 1 1.5. So, it says you try, so I want you to try it. Pause the video, try this out. Really do it. I'm going to keep doing this, I want you to check it. So 0, negative 2 is the focus. Directrix is 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is very, very similar. Um, I'm going to flip this around. This is our focus. Um, and so our vertex has to be right in the middle of our focus and our directrix. Vertex is... Well, we went between 0 and 3 again. Notice that we used the x's this time between 0 and 3 because that had to deal with it. 0 plus 3 divided by 2, 1 and a half. So the vertex is 1.5, negative 2. It's all very, very visual. And so again, the p-value is negative because it opens left opens towards the negative side, and we're going to have an x, a y squared equation. So x minus h equals some a, y minus k squared. p again is negative 1.5, and so a is 1 over 4 times, so negative 1 6 again. So, this is our a, x minus our h, 1.5, equals negative 1 sixth, our a value, times y minus a negative 2, so I'm going to put plus 2 squared, and there's our equation. Find the vertex, focus, directrix and axis of symmetry of this
parabola. Phew. Well, I need to get it into this form. I need to have something squared. That's our ultimate goal. So I'm going to move all the stuff that doesn't have to do with the y to the other side. Um, y squared minus 2y equals... I'm going to add the 12x, and so it becomes positive on the other side. I'm going to subtract the 25, and so it goes to the other side as well. So again, it's easier to complete the square like this. So y minus something squared. Well, to get the 2 when you add two things together, this has to be a minus 1. And so to get the minus 1, you're going to need a negative 1 and a negative 1. Think of this as being a y minus something, y minus something. We want it to be a square, so it'll be negative 1 and negative 1. We have to add 1. This is called completing the square. We did it with parabolas, and so if, sorry, with quadratics before. If we add 1 here, we have to add 1 here. Can't change both sides. Have to change both sides if you change something. So then we have y minus 1 squared. And remember what you add here was always half the middle term, half of 2 squared. Uh, we get 12x minus 24. And so y minus 1 squared. On the other side, keep in mind what we're trying to do is a y squared. So we're going to have an a over here. So let's factor out the 12. And we get x minus 2. And then this is the 12 that has to go with the y squared. And so we're going to multiply by 1 12th or divide by 12. y minus 1 squared equals x minus 2. And so used to, we're used to seeing it the other way around. So I'm going to flip it. 1 12th, y minus 1 squared. So there we have it. It's a y squared. And so I, I think in my head, actually I'm going to graph it to help me out. Vertex. Is 2, comma 1. Which direction does it open? It's a y squared, so it opens side to side, left and right. And because the p is positive, it opens to the right. Sorry, because the a is positive. And so a equals 1 over 4p. So 1 12th equals 1 over 4p. So at this point in time, well, how does 12, how do you get 12 out of 4 times p? p has to equal 3. So then p is the distance from the vertex. And so what we're going to do is go 1, 2, 3 to the right, and 1, 2, 3 to the left, and that's going to be our directrix. So our vertex focus is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, comma 1. Directrix is going to be this vertical line, which is an x equals negative 1. And our axis of symmetry is this line right here that's going to go straight through the center. And that's a y equals positive 1. And there we have it. Um, so we've graphed it. This is 5, comma 1, 2, comma 1, y equals 1, x equals negative 1. And there we have it, your first parabola complete the square.